The National Health Service, or NHS, is a cornerstone of British society, providing free healthcare to all. Established in 1948, it has been a symbol of equality and care, ensuring that every citizen, regardless of their financial status, has access to medical services. However, recent years have seen the NHS stretched to its limits. The increasing demand for services, coupled with an ageing population, has put immense pressure on the system. Long waiting lists and staff shortages have become all too common. Many patients face delays in receiving treatment, and healthcare professionals are often overworked and under-resourced. In a significant announcement, Rachel Reeves, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, has unveiled a plan to inject billions into the NHS. This move is seen as a crucial step towards revitalising the healthcare system. This funding boost aims to address the immediate pressures and secure the future of this vital institution. It promises to improve patient care, reduce waiting times and provide better support for NHS staff. But is it enough to solve the deep-rooted challenges facing the NHS? Critics argue that while the funding is a positive step, it may not be sufficient to address the systemic issues that have plagued the NHS for years. Reeves, a prominent figure in the Labour Party, is responsible for the UK's economic and financial affairs. Her role is pivotal in shaping the country's fiscal policies and ensuring that public services receive adequate funding. Her position gives her significant influence over government spending, including the allocation of funds to the NHS. This recent announcement reflects her commitment to prioritising healthcare in the national budget. The recent announcement signals a commitment from the government to prioritise healthcare and tackle the growing concerns surrounding the NHS's sustainability. It is a clear message that the health and well-being of the population are of utmost importance. The proposed funding increase has sparked debate across the country. While many welcome the additional resources, others question whether it will be enough to bring about meaningful change. Some hail it as a much-needed lifeline for a struggling NHS, while others remain sceptical about its long-term impact. The true test will be in the implementation and whether the funds are used effectively to address the core issues. This essay will delve into the details of Reeves' plan, explore its potential benefits and examine the challenges that lie ahead for the NHS. It will consider the perspectives of various stakeholders, including healthcare professionals, patients and policymakers. This is a pivotal moment for the future of healthcare in the UK. The decisions made today will shape the landscape of healthcare for years to come, impacting the lives of millions. The decisions made today will have far-reaching consequences for generations to come. Ensuring a robust and resilient NHS is not just about immediate relief, but about securing a healthier future for everyone. The NHS, once the envy of the world, is grappling with unprecedented challenges. Years of underfunding have taken their toll, leaving the health service struggling to cope with rising demand. Waiting lists for essential procedures have reached record highs, forcing patients to endure agonising delays and uncertainty. The strain on the system is evident in overcrowded hospitals, exhausted staff, and a growing sense of unease among the public. The situation is critical, a senior NHS consultant speaking on condition of anonymity revealed. We are constantly being asked to do more with less. Our staff are burnt out and patients are suffering. This sentiment is echoed by countless healthcare professionals across the country who are witnessing firsthand the impact of a system under immense pressure. The COVID-19 pandemic exacerbated these existing problems pushing the NHS to the brink. The pandemic highlighted the crucial role of the NHS in times of crisis, but also exposed its vulnerabilities. 
It underscored the urgent need for investment to ensure the NHS can withstand future shocks and continue to provide high quality care for all. The challenges facing the NHS are complex and multifaceted, but at their core lies a simple truth. The demand for healthcare is outstripping the resources available. Rachel Reeves' announcement of a multi-billion pound funding boost for the NHS has sent shockwaves through the healthcare sector. This significant move has been met with a mix of optimism and scepticism as stakeholders ponder the potential impact on the healthcare system. The scale of the investment is unprecedented in recent times and signals a clear intention from the government to address the growing crisis within the NHS. With hospitals struggling to cope with increasing patient numbers and staff shortages, this funding could be a game-changer. But what exactly does this financial injection entail? And how will it be used to improve healthcare in the UK? The details of the allocation are crucial to understanding the potential benefits and challenges that lie ahead. This is a historic investment in our health service, declared Reeves in her address to Parliament. She emphasised the importance of this funding in ensuring the sustainability and efficiency of the NHS. It is a down payment on the future of our NHS and it will ensure that it is there for generations to come. This investment aims to secure the health and well-being of future generations, providing them with a robust and reliable healthcare system. While the exact figures are yet to be finalised, government sources suggest the increase could be as high as £10 billion per year. This substantial sum is expected to be distributed across various critical areas within the NHS. This substantial financial injection is intended to address a wide range of issues plaguing the NHS. From overcrowded wards to outdated equipment, the funding aims to tackle these persistent problems head-on. A large portion of the funds will be allocated to tackling the backlog of elective surgeries and reducing waiting times. This is a critical area that has seen significant delays affecting the quality of life for many patients. This will involve hiring more surgeons, nurses and support staff, as well as investing in new equipment and technology. The goal is to enhance the capacity and efficiency of the NHS, ensuring that patients receive timely and effective care. The government has set ambitious targets for reducing waiting lists, aiming to bring them down to pre-pandemic levels within the next three years. Achieving these targets will require coordinated efforts and continuous monitoring. The remaining funds will be distributed across various areas of the NHS, including mental health services, community care and primary care. These areas are often underfunded and overlooked, yet they play a crucial role in the overall healthcare system. Improving these areas is crucial to alleviating pressure on hospitals and ensuring that patients receive timely and appropriate care in the community. By strengthening community and primary care services, the NHS can provide more comprehensive and accessible care. The government has also pledged to invest in training and development for NHS staff recognising the need to retain and attract skilled professionals to the healthcare sector. This investment in human resources is essential for the long-term success and sustainability of the NHS. The government has outlined a comprehensive plan for allocating the additional funding, which aims to address several critical areas within the healthcare system. This plan focuses on key areas that require immediate attention to improve the overall quality and accessibility of healthcare services. One of the top priorities is tackling the backlog of elective surgeries, which has reached a critical level due to the pandemic. The delays have caused significant distress and discomfort for many.